Good morning again, guys. Here is our read aloud for Wednesday, April 15th. We are gonna continue on our theme of telling time. A lot of you did a wonderful job writing um, about why time was important yesterday. So today we're gonna to take our learning one step further and talk and learn a little bit more about the parts of the clock and how to tell time, okay? In first grade, you're supposed to know how to tell time to the hour, so when something is a clock, and how to tell time to the half hour, so when it's 4.30, okay? Um, to expand our learning today, this book's gonna talk a little bit little bit more than that but it's okay the main things i really want you to understand are when it's like the clock says one o'clock and 1 30. that's what the biggest difference we need to know okay that's that's our first grade learning standard all right so today's book is called telling time what's the matter james man please call me ninja what's the matter ninja antonio is coming over at 10 o'clock to play ninjas that sounds like fun but mia i don't know when he's coming i can't tell time I'll teach you. The number to the left of the dots, or colon, tells the hour. It's nine something. The numbers to the right of the dots tell the minutes. No minutes have passed. It's exactly nine o'clock. Have you eaten breakfast, James? I mean, Ninja. No, says James, I'm hungry. Look, the clock changed to 01. That means one minute has passed. And now it's 902. Right, Ninja. What time is it now? We asked. It's one after nine, again. A bad ninja must be moving the clock backwards, James said. No, James, it's nine ten. Ten minutes have passed since nine o'clock. There are 60 minutes in an hour. You have 50 minutes to wait. Why are you so slow, clock? We could try a different clock. What if instead of a digital clock, you have an analog clock like this. Don't worry, James, you can tell me, you can tell time this way too. The little hand points to the hour. It points to nine. It's nine something. Pretend your finger is the little hand. Move it from one, 12, one to 12 around the clock. The big hand points to the minutes. It points to two. So it's 9.02 again? Not quite, James. For the big end, each number stands for five minutes. So if you count by fives, it's 910 right now. Oh, I think I get it, Mia. 905, 910, 915, 920. If only time moved as fast as you count, Antonio would already be here. But a little time has passed, right, Mia? Now it's Right, now it's 9.15. Isn't watching the clock fun? Not really, can we play ninjas now? All right, Ninja James, but stay close to the clock. Something big is going to happen and you won't wanna miss it. Hey, the clock hands sorta of look like ninja swords. It's 9.30. Okay, so let's see. The little hand's pointing at the nine. Sometimes it's normally pointing between the nine and the 10 and the minute hand is pointing to the six, okay? The minute hand will always be pointing to the six when it's 30 minutes past the hour. Wait, Mia, what's so great about 9.30? Well, the clock chimes and 30 minutes make half an hour. You're halfway to when Antonio comes. Let's see, what could we do for a half, half an hour? We could watch one TV show, walk the dog, make Rice Krispie Treats, or shoot 60 baskets. So now you know how to tell time, James. Is it 10 o'clock yet? The little hand points to the 10, so it's 10 something, and the big hand points to the 12. That means zero minutes have passed. It is exactly 10 o'clock. Hi, Antonio. I'll pick you up at 12 o'clock, says Antonio's mom. But I can't tell the time, Mom, says Antonio. I'll teach you how, Antonio, says James. So you see, it's 10-10, and that's how you tell time, like a ninja. Isn't this fun? Not really, James. Can we do something else? Hmm. What can we do for one hour and 50 minutes, James wonders. Play ninjas. Yes. Okay, so here's a glossary. These are going to help you answer the questions in your, your assignment today. Um, an analog clock is a device that uses hands 
to show the time, okay? So these would be big clocks, um, like what we learned on in the classroom. The colon are the two dots, one above the other, used to divide the hour and minutes on a clock. A digital clock is a device using numbers to show that time. Pretty much everything now is a digital clock. You might have an analog clock in your home by your phone. It's a digital clock, I don't know if you can see. So there's the colon, the hour, and the numbers, okay? So pretty much everything nowadays is a digital clock. Half hour means 30 minutes, okay? And o'clock, a contraction meaning of the clock or on the clock, also denotes an hour, which means no minutes have passed, as in nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, okay? So you might wanna go back, or you're probably gonna need to go back in the text to answer our questions in our assignment today, okay? Um, so these are some more things to practice, um, telling time, okay? You can go visit these websites. You might wanna pause this too if you're having trouble. Um, also, East Park will have telling time points too. But if you want some more practice, there's some websites you might want to pause it here so your parents can help you. All right, guys, um, your assignment today is on Class Dojo. There's a lot of questions, so I'm not going to read them all to you here. You'll just be able to go visit the Class Dojo site where I posted this and go um, see what your assignment is. But you're going to write six to seven complete sentences about the parts of the class. All right, I'm looking forward to reading them. Okay, I miss you guys. Have a great day. Bye.